Hey, it's Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the scriptures verse by verse. In the next couple months, we'll be talking about verses that came from the seven deadly friendships. So these are relational verses. And it's kind of funny because we have been talking about financial verses lately, and there is an interesting correlation between your finances and your friendships, weirdly. Uh, One of the people that we talk about in the seven deadly friendships is Conman Connor. And so today's verse is from Proverbs 13, 11 which is a great place throughout the book of Proverbs to find um, advice about wealth and about people. And in fact, so many of the verses from the seven deadly friendships are coming from the wise book of Proverbs. So Proverbs 13, 11 in the HCSB says this, Wealth obtained by fraud will dwindle, but whoever earns it through labor will multiply it. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, thank you for this um, this cautionary tale, this warning for those of us who might want to skip ahead and uh, defraud others in order to get money. Or maybe we've been the victim of a fraud, and we may wonder if there's just um, if there's justice in this world because those people who defraud others seem to keep getting away with it. So Lord, I pray that you would calm our hearts today, particularly around this issue, to know that you're in control. You, you do hold us in your hands. You hold our circumstances in your hands, and you hold our financial situation in your hands. And Lord, it, I love that it says, whoever earns it through labor will multiply it. And I pray for the person today who's, who's kind of sadly laughing at that second part of the verse because they're thinking to themselves, I have worked so hard, and I am not seeing things multiply. Or maybe there's um, a frustration with a theological construct around it. Um, the false truth, and and actually not a false truth, there's no such thing as a false truth, but the falseness of saying that if you do this, God is obligated to do that, Um, the health and wealth gospel. So Lord, uh, thank you that that's not the gospel. Uh, Thank you that it's not a karmic universe. Um, Thank you, though, that when we do work hard, there is reward in that labor, and I pray for those who are frustrated right now with um, with their labor and maybe it not being multiplied. I pray for those who are frustrated in their jobs today, um, that maybe they're not receiving the raise that they wanted, or maybe they're underemployed, or maybe they used to make a lot of money and they're making half. I was talking to someone recently about how they started off doing really, really well, and their next job was basically cut in half in terms of their provision. And so, Lord, that can be super discouraging. And there are people out there today listening to the Pray Every Day show who do not have jobs and are willing to work and are willing to labor. And they have had so many um, doors slam in their faces. And Lord, that might not be the person listening today, but maybe they have a friend or a family member who's walking through this kind of unemployment or underemployment. So we just take those people right now and we lift them up to you. Would you send them a job? Would you send them encouragement? Would you send them a raise? Would you bless the works of their hands? Would you lift the veil of discouragement? Would you help them to know that you are with them and that you will not leave them and you will not forsake them? That you are a giving God, that you are a God who notices, you are a God who sees, you are a God who hears our cries. And so for those in financially desperate situations, um, Father, would you meet those needs? And Lord, uh, hearken us right now, hearken us today to be aware of the people around us so that we can meet those pressing needs. And oftentimes that's in the church. I see it in my own life group. I see uh, needs there, and then the Lord is really gracious to help us meet each other's needs. Um, in second, I think it's in 1 Corinthians 9 or 2 Corinthians 9, it talks about uh, our abundance being a, a supply for someone else's want. And um, thank you for that, Lord, that sometimes we have whole, a whole bunch of stuff and we're able to give it away, and sometimes we're in need and we need to not be proud and receive from our fellow believers. So help us to live in that kind of beautiful kingdom economy today, that we would have open hands to give to those who need, and that we would also be willing to receive when we are in, in times of need or we find ourselves in times of need. We, I know personally I've been in both of those places before, and uh, it's both of those places have been very humbling. So Lord, thank you for just this moment we can get together and talk about practical things with you. You are a good God and you do love us. And and I do pray that you would lift the head of those who are discouraged today, particularly in this area. In Jesus name, I pray. Amen. 
Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I am grateful that you're here. Um, I, I absolutely believe that God is affectionate toward you. He loves you. He made you. He created you in your mother's womb. And he um, has sent his son to die for you. So you have new life and new hope. Don't despair. Keep going. You can, you can do it through the power of the Holy Spirit within you. He will give you the power and the strength you need to endure even your money trials today. Have a good day.